Hello everybody and welcome to another Exile tutorial video hosted by the Gaming Junkie for an Arma 3 Exile dedicated server. Hello everybody and welcome to another Exile tutorial video for a dedicated server. In this video I'm going to show you what program you need to add traders, buildings, vehicles, whatever onto your Exile map. So first things first, <clears throat> clear my voice is open up your browser go to exilemods.com click on download and the program you mainly need right now is the 3 dens plugin click on it download it which I've already got it downloaded and in my downloads folder but just show you as you can tell I already had it open already have it so I'm gonna seriously delete this one you unzip it and then you do this since we already got that done close your browser and then we're gonna locate your <coughs> armor 3 launcher which I have a little area right here set up so I'm just gonna click on it launch my armor thing, armor launcher then I'm gonna right click click on folder now you can get to this location any way you want to. Me, I do it this way because it's easier. But <clears throat> pretty much just go to your Armor 3 folder located on your C drive or mine's, like, mine's located on my D drive. And then what you do is open this, rename it, which I already did. I renamed it to Exile3Den. And then just move it over. close these windows and then what we're going to do is go back to mods click on local mod and then we're going to find locate our you know armor 3 launcher which is like I said D drive and then I go to armor th oops wrong one I go to steam steam apps and then armor 3 and then we click on the folder and then select this folder and and then you'll get this, you know, mod XL 3D was installed, loaded it, which I loaded it. And ladies and gentlemen, once you get this, all you do is click play. And then go into editor and do whatever you want. And I'll show you here. Then we click on play. Wait for the game to pop up. It takes about, I don't know, maybe a couple minutes. We're just waiting, 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 waiting. We are waiting. Alright, finally. And then after you get into Armor 3, click on Editor. And then, you know, if you want just the basic Exile maps, this is all you got. But if you want more maps, you got to make sure you get put Cup Terrain and Cup Maps on. But the map we're going to work on today is the new map, which I actually do like this map. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, once you get in, you know, just do whatever you need to do. Like I said, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of how to use the editor. But I'll show you a couple of brief demonstrations real quick. Make this video a little longer than just four minutes. Alright, what we're going to do is click on map and we're going to find a nice little area. To go, I kind of like going here. Okay, go here. And then we're going to click on map. Okay, to do stuff in this, over here you have, you know, single players. You got groups you can put in. You got the triggers, you got the waypoints, you got the system icons, and the markers. 
So what we're going to do, or you can just click on the 3D model map and just double click. So marker, we're going to, okay, let's just say we're going to put a system marker in. Make it an empty one. Then after you get that, you just click on the marker. Label it whatever you want to, whatever type of zone you want it to be a zone, or you can make it be an icon. So what we're going to do is, that's pretty much how you do that. Now to place a player, we're going to go ahead and delete the marker now. Is double click again, click on the single player marker, and then if you want to make an exile, you know, trader or something like that, you just make sure you click on independence. Or if you want to make a bad guy, you know, somebody fight this. You know, like a man, got sharpshooter here. This is where all the vehicles are, and these, all this stuff will spawn in AI and all that stuff. Okay, and then like I said, you also have your system where you can place an animal. Just an animal marker. Delete that. And you got a trigger. Oh, they added some stuff in here. Cool. And ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much all there is about the editor. And what's nice is if you want to go to a different location, you can just double click on the location and it takes you straight to the location. But there's a couple other tutorial videos out there on how to do the editor. One of these days I'm just going to show you basically how to put stuff in, how to make stuff interact. But right now, that's all there is to basically how to get into the editor. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody, and thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you like it, come on, give me a thumbs up. And also, subscribe if you haven't. And over on the left, check out my survivalist guide videos, my let's play videos, and how to set up a dedicated server, and videos for dedicated servers. So again, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.